Okay right, guys, so today's workout, minimal kit workout, is gonna be an AMRAP, so that's as many rounds as possible for 12 minutes. Okay, what we're gonna do is 20 deadlifts. I'm gonna use dumbbells today. I'll show you some other scaling options for that. We're gonna do 15 butterfly sit-ups. I'm gonna use an ab mat, but again, I'll show you scaling options. And then 10 renegade rows, okay, without the push-up. So we'll go through all these movements in a bit. But essentially today, you're gonna to tax your midline from the front and the back. So you're gonna get a great workout there. Plus we're looking for you to get a little bit of intensity today, go a little bit harder at the end so you get a good sweat on, a good workout in just a short period of time. Okay, so I'm gonna check my, my laptop and my notes every now and again. So I'm gonna drift over here just so I don't forget anything for you. But the first thing I want you to do is to make sure you've got a water bottle or whether it's a glass of water or something. I want you to get hydrated. I can't control what you do outside of this time, but if we say every time we have a workout, you're at least drinking that glass or that bottle within the workout, okay? So please do, grab your water bottles, have that ready. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go through the warm up. So to start with, I want you to follow through, uh, follow me as I do this as well. We're gonna go through 10 bound bends to start. So if you get in position with me now, we're gonna take a wide stance. What are you gonna do? Bring the rib cage down, Stick your bum back, and then if you can, without rounding your back, you're gonna to touch the floor, and then put your hands over head, push your hips forward. So we do 10. Okay, that's two. I'll show you from the other side, keep going. Okay, so hopefully you've done 10 of those now. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay, but try your best not to. We're gonna go through 10 scapular push-ups now. So what you're gonna do is get into a push-up position. It's the hands straight down from the shoulders, the feet close together. Again, you're gonna tuck the rib cage down a little bit, and then what we're gonna do whilst keeping the elbows straight, you're going to just move through a short range of motion where you retract the shoulders and then protract at the top, so you're kinda pushing and pulling whilst keeping your elbows straight. So you're gonna do 10 repetitions here. If this is too hard for you, you can go from the knees and do the same. Retract the shoulders and then push them forward. Okay. So you're gonna do 10 of those. After that, we're gonna go through 10 air squats. Now everyone's gonna have different ability, different builds. I want you to find what works best for you. You're gonna turn the toes out a little bit. You're gonna have the, uh, the feet about shoulder width. We'll have a little play around with it. So I'm gonna put my hands out in front of me. I'm gonna drive my bum back and bend my knees. You notice I'm keeping the knees in line with the toes as best I can. <laughs> Breathe out at the top and stand. So hands out on top, hips back, knees out, seat down. We're gonna do 10 of those, okay? So that's two, three, okay, so hopefully you've done 10 of those. Then we're gonna do 20 to 40 seconds of a forearm plank. So we're gonna go back into that push-up position, but now we're gonna go back onto the forearms. So palms down, straight down from the shoulders, feet out, you're gonna bring your hips down, tuck the ribcage down a little bit, and you're gonna hold this for 20 to 40 seconds, okay? Try not to let the hips dip, try not to bring the bum up too high either. We're here. So 20 to 40 seconds on the forearm plank. When you've done that, we're gonna go back around. So I'm just gonna move through this with you guys. Hopefully you're, you're going at the same speed as me. We've got two more rounds. 10 bound bends. Ten scat push-ups. Uh, 
And remember, try and keep those elbows locked out. Just move through the shoulder girdle. We go from the knee if we need to. Ten air squats. So remember, the hips go back, the knees drive out. You get the best depth you can. If you find at the bottom, you start to round over. I just want you to reduce the depth a little bit. Keep your midline nice and tight. And you're just gonna hit the best depth you've got. Okay. 10 of those. Then 20 to 40 seconds of your forearm plank. So forearms down. Hips in line and hold. Okay, we'll give you a second to catch up if you need it. Last round. So we're going back into the bound bends. Nice and wide. Keep the legs locked out. Midline nice and tight. Hinge back. Touch the floor if you can. Hands overhead. Okay, 10 reps of those. Then we're going to do 10 scapular pull ups, push ups, sorry. Remember, we've got the option of going from the knees if you need it. 10 air squats. Bum back, knees out. Find your best depth you've got. Try and get into the habit of breathing out of the top of the movement. Like so. And then 20 to 40 seconds of a forearm plank. And that's going to be our general warm up. Remember, don't let the hips sag. Try not let the hips go too high. Keep it in line. Okay, so let's give you another 30 seconds or so to catch up if you're behind a little bit. I'm gonna read my notes. So, now, what we're gonna do is go through the specific part of the warm-up. So we do a general warm-up, just to get you ready for any type of physical activity. And now we're gonna go into a warm-up that's based on what you're actually doing for the day, for the actual workout. So like I said before, we're gonna start off with dumbbell deadlifts. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Again, if you wanna use kettlebells or milk jugs, whatever it may be, that's fine, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold the dumbbells, they're gonna be touching your thighs, you're gonna bring the shoulder blades back, and you're gonna maintain the natural curve of your spine. So when I'm standing here, I naturally should have a little bit of an S curve on the spine, and all I'm doing is trying to keep that position. So I know if any rounding of the back occurs, that's not right, or any overextension of the back is also a common fault. So we're trying to keep this nice and steady whilst we hinge at the hips. So, let's have the feet underneath the hips, shoulders back, midline tight, I'm drive the bum back and have a slight bend in the knee. So I'll show you from the other side. So I want you to do this with me as I'm going through it. I want you to practice as well with whatever weight you've got. Shoulders, midline, drive the bum back, bend the knees a little bit, and squeeze the bum as you stand up at the top. So 
you want to keep your weight real close to your body as well, okay? So I want you to go through a few repetitions of that, see how that feels. Now, for those of you who are struggling a little bit with the weight, we can just do it without a weight. You could do 20 reps, we're just keeping this nice and tight. You can even just put your hand here, put your hand here, and just work on maintaining that position. It gives you a tactile cue for yourself whether you're rounding the back or overextending. So if you just go through a few reps of this, if you are struggling with the load, just to get used to it. Okay, so in the actual workout, we're gonna be doing 20 deadlifts with a load, and we're just going down below the knees. Okay? Now, we wanna warm up our posterior chain. So when I say posterior chain, we're talking hamstrings, glutes, your lower back mainly. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a glute warm up here. I want everyone to pop yourself on the floor. We're gonna do a glute bridge. So the feet are planted, put your palms down, and all we're gonna do is raise the bum up and squeeze the bum. Now we don't wanna to go too high, or you can start to overextend the low back. So if you go through 20 reps for me now, just make sure you get that little bit of a squeeze at the top and hold position. Okay? So, 20 reps for you right now. I'm gonna check my notes. See you later. By the way, that noise in the background, today, of all days, Zach has decided to do a marathon row. So he's gonna be rowing for the next couple of hours. Um, cheers, Zach. Now, if you've done your 20 reps, you're gonna go into marches, hamstring marches, right? We're gonna put one foot in front of you with a straight leg. You're gonna have the back leg bent a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is hinge back. If I can, I'll touch the floor. Now, you might see me round my back a little bit. We're unloaded right now, so it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but what we're looking for is a good stretch in your hamstrings, okay? We're gonna take a step forward. Straight leg, bent leg. Okay? So if you're doing this in your living room, you're gonna to have to keep turning around, which is fine. But what we need to do is 20 steps in total. Okay? So don't force depth there. If you feel you have to bend the front leg a little bit, then crack on, but try your best to keep that front leg straight. Okay? So we're gonna do 20 of those back and forth. And then that's gonna conclude our posterior chain and our specific warm up for the deadlift part of this workout, okay? Now, whilst you're finishing off those 20 walks, if you just listen out for me, we're gonna warm up the front of your midline, the anterior core, your abdominal muscles, ready for these sit-ups that are about to come. So let me show you real quick. We're gonna go through some Russian sit-ups, if you can. If you can't do the Russian sit-ups, I'll show you the scale in a sec. Essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold in position here, and all I want you to do is go from side to side, keep the feet in the air if you can. So you're essentially holding, the midline is doing its work to hold position there, we're not completely collapsing, but we've also got a little bit of rotation going on, so we can get nice and warm in this position. If that's a struggle for you, what you can do, you can lie back down, and what we can do is just do knee touches. So you're getting a little bit of rotation, but you're most definitely warming up your abdominal muscles. So whichever scale you choose, I just want you to do 20 reps for me now. You should feel your abs on fire a little bit afterwards. Okay, remember to breathe throughout. So, 20 reps. And then, we're gonna go into a cobra stretch. So you just wanna stretch out the muscles now a little bit. So you're gonna pop your hips on the floor, you're gonna straighten the elbows, and then you're gonna lean over to the left-hand side for 10 seconds. So 10, nine, And then lean over to the right side. Okay. So, 
That's the warm up for the butterfly sit up. My bad, I should have showed you the butterfly sit up before we talked about that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my ab mat down. So all that's gonna do is fill the space for my lower back, right? So a towel, you could roll up a, a yoga mat or something like that will do the same job. You don't have to do this, you can if you want to. Now the soles of my feet are gonna go together. So essentially what this is gonna do, is you're gonna take the hip flexors out of it. So I'm using a lot more of my abdominal muscle to get me up, rather than using the hip flexors to pull me up, okay? So what we do, you're gonna come back, you're gonna to touch the floor behind you, and then you're gonna to touch the toes or touch just in front of the toes. The main thing I'm looking for is the shoulders come through the hips at the top, all right? You do a few reps. You do a few practice reps with me. If you do need a towel, or a yoga mat scrunched up. You can go grab one now. Okay. Those of you who do need a scale for this movement, what we can do, whether or not you've got an ab mat, you can pop your feet down, and this will allow you to use a little bit of hip flexor, okay? But it might allow you to do a full repetition. So I'm just gonna come back to here, and then depending on how strong you are, you can go palms over the knees. You could even just go fingertips to the knees, depending how strong you are in this position. But we're still getting a good workout through your abdominals, okay? So, that's the warm up for the butterfly sit up. Now next, we've got the renegade row. So the loading for the deadlift might seem quite light, and that's why we're doing 20 reps. For the renegade row though, if you're using the same loading, so I've got a pair of tens here, a pair of tens for deadlift is quite easy. A pair of tens for renegade row starts to get a bit tricky, right? We're just going to do five each arm. So just be prepared for that. You might want two pairs of dumbbells out for this, but we're keeping it to minimal amount of kit. So what we're going to do, we go in our push-up position. But the only difference now is I'm going to take a wider stance. So I'm here. Okay, I'm going to try and keep my midline nice and tight. Although you're going to be taxed from the butterfly setups, but that's through design. You're going to pull one dumbbell to the hips. Then the next. Okay. Now naturally, you're gonna shift over from side to side a little bit. You wanna give that a quick practice now you can. Try and minimize it, but you will a little bit. I don't wanna see big leans and rotations though. Keep it as controlled as you can. Now those of you who don't have dumbbells, obviously if you're using milk jugs or something, don't fucking go into a push-up position on your milk jugs. Um, what you can do, it's just a three-point row. So you're gonna have three points of contact. Doesn't matter if you're on a bench, up against the wall, whatever it is, just have three points of contact. If I show you here off this box, I'm gonna go into position and do a row from here. So it might not be as taxing as a renegade row, but we're still getting an upper body pulling movement in, which is the main point of this exercise, okay? What I would say though is, you might wanna do 10 each arm if you're scaling to a three point row, instead of doing just five each arm for the renegade row. I'll leave that for you to decide. So, the specific warm up for this point, you're gonna start off with some dumbbell curls. You're gonna do 20 dumbbell curls. Now for me, I've got dumbbells here. I can warm up my pulley muscles, my biceps, my forearms, warm up my elbows. I can do 20 curls, right? If you don't have any load to do that with, you could pick up anything. I don't, oh yeah, let's go for this. You pick up a chair. Rob's laughing in the background there, all right? Pick up a chair, <laughs> you do your curls, do your curls, with a chair, with your table if you're strong enough. I don't care. I just want you to do 20 curls with some sort of external load, okay? Ideally dumbbells, or your milk jugs, wherever it may be. And then once you've done that, we're gonna do some stepping up with the planks. So if you go into your plank position, forearms down, hips down, you're then going to shift from side to side, you're gonna step up and down. So if we go right arm, left arm, okay? 
Now for those that struggle with this, that's not an easy exercise to do, what I want you to do is a plank from this position. So we're going to hold it here. Reason being is obviously we're going to be holding that position for a while whilst we're doing the renegade rows. So we will warm up all the upper body as we're doing it into that position that we're going to spend some time in. Okay? So, 10 reps of the plank step ups. Can you do that for me now? Right, guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to go have a nervous wee, to write down the workout. If you want to write it on a bit of paper, a whiteboard, whatever you want to do, grab your phone or stopwatch for the time that we're going to use. So it's a 12 minute workout. Get all your bits and bobs together. Think about the logistics of this workout as well. If you don't have much space, let's try and get your kit in a, in a place where you don't have to transition too much or fuck around too much or risk breaking anything. So, Couple of minutes to have a think about that. So crack on, let's do that now. Grab some more water if you don't have any. And then we're gonna go for a round of the workout as a practice. And listen to Zach Rowe for a couple of minutes if you're done. Or watch him. <laughs> I would, but we're, we'll mess up the continuity, Rob. Okay. 22. Okay. Right, guys. So I'm going to assume you're back. Obviously, if not, you can just pause it, rewind, whatever you need to do. I kind of want to keep these as, a, as one live video without you having to pause and fuck around too much. But if you need to, you need to. So we're going to go for a round of the workout. So I really want you to do this with me. So make sure you've got your dumbbells. You've got your ab mat or your towel and you've got space to do this, right? So what it's going to look like, let's say three, two, one, go. So we're going to jump in with the dumbbells. We're going to do 20 repetitions. Okay, 20 reps. Then, we're gonna go into our butterfly sit-ups. Okay, that's 15. And then we've got the 10 renegade rows. Arguably the hardest thing is workout. What a stance. That's one round. So we're going to continue to do that for 12 minutes. Okay, so we want to work hard at this, but we want to move safely. So if you finish off that round and you haven't done it yet, I'm going, to, I'm going to catch my breath quickly. And I just want to quickly go over those scaling options. So for the deadlift, if you're struggling with the load, you can just hinge with no load, or a lighter load, or less depth even, okay? As long as you're driving the bum back, keeping the midline stable. 20 repetitions of a hinge, okay? You're gonna scale the sit-ups. You remember, we can go, ooh, let's take the other mat away for this one. You can go palms over the knees. You can go just fingertips to the knees or just whatever distance you can, as long as you're using your abdominal muscles here. Oh, like so. And in the renegade row, we can. Going to a three-point row, 
But I would advise that you do 10 each arm instead of five each arm. So there are your scales. That's the workout. So as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes, 20 deadlifts, 15 butterfly sets, and 10 renegade rows, five each arm. Good luck. Go grab your timers, get set up, post your scores below. I'll be interested to see how you get on. Thank you very much.